Good day people, today I'm going to be teaching you how to extend your hard drive partitions. Now, for those who don't exactly know what that is, let me explain it in this simple manner. Picture this, your hard drive is like a chest. Now don't get me wrong, we won't actually be growing your hard drive, but we will be making it bigger, technically. Some hard drives come with partitions, which are essentially dividers, which are usually titled D drive. They're supposed to be used for backups and whatnot, and they're usually way too big, because they're oftentimes unused. So what ends up happening is your partition fills up pretty quick. So to make your hard drive bigger, all we'll need to do is move the divider, aka extend your partition. Once that's done, your hard drive will be much bigger and you'll be much happier. That sounds great, but what I just explained might not work for you. If your hard drive doesn't have partitions, that divider I was talking about, it won't be there to be moved, so the current size of your hard drive is the final. If this doesn't work for you, all you can really do is get a new hard drive. Okay, so first step, let's check if we actually have a partition to extend. So open up your computer, and you can see uh, your D drive. Now, mine's uh, 297 gigs, and has barely anything in it. As you can see, only one megabyte is actually being used. So I don't need a 297 gig hard drive. Okay, so what you want to do is go up to your start menu, and type in disk management. And it should come up as create and format disk partitions. Now, once that loads, you'll see your D drive. It's down here. So what you want to do is right click and extend your disk partition. But as you can see, mine is grayed out. So what you have to do is actually back up your D drive, then you have to delete your D drive, and then you have to add it to your C drive. So let's do that right away. Okay, so let's back up our D drive. So just make a new folder and title it uh, backup. Okay, so now that your D drive is completely backed up and deleted, what you want to do is go back to the disk partition, and what you do now, you right click and you delete volume. Once it's free space, simply right click again and delete partition. Press yes, and now it's unallocated. And now you can see there's no more green box surrounding it, which means it's not protected anymore. And uh, disk management only extends to the right, so you couldn't technically right click and try to extend to the left. So you can't add from this. So Right click your hard drive, and now you can see you see extend volume, it's not grayed out anymore. Click it, and simply run the um, wizard. So in my case, I want a 32 gig uh, D drive, so I'm going to be doing a bit of the uh, math to figure out what numbers I need to put in. But if you just leave it as is, it will literally take everything that's in here and just put it on there. But if you still want a D drive, you got to figure out what it is in megabytes. Okay, so now that that's done, we have a 545.55 gig hard drive, and we have a 31, well actually almost 32 gigs of unallocated uh, space. So as you can see, we don't have a D drive anymore. So we're going to make one again. So we're going to right click it, new simple volume, at this point press next, that's the amount of space you want, so press next, uh, D drive, and then yeah, that's good. NTFS default new volume. Now you can title it, uh, usually D drives are called data or data recovery or recovery. So I'm just going to call it, uh, how about, how about uh, data? There we go. Uh, so now it's going to be called data colon D. Uh, next, finish. So now I have a 32 gig, well now it's formatting. But you can see it should be there. Yeah, there we go, data D. And now we have our C drive and our D drive. And that's how you do it. So now my hard drive is no longer like 200 gigs. It's now 545 gigs, which is much better. And I'm much happier. You can't see my smile, but it's it's there. It is there. I forgot to mention while filming that you need to put everything back into the hard drive. So open up your backup, control A, and drag it into data D. And there we go. And you're back to normal. And now you have a huge hard drive. And that's how you do it. I hope you liked and enjoyed and whatnot. Recommend this video to anybody that has a small hard drive and has partitions. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. As always, have a good day. Until then.